Good morning. It's just after 8. I slept hard last night. Um, yeah. It's windy. And overcast. Man, I slept like crazy. I dropped that thing down last night. In the middle of the night. Got real windy. I went to check out the canoe. Make sure everything was okay. Wolfie's over there somewhere. That white thing. He doesn't like coming in the shelter, especially when the fire's going, but anyway, up and at him. Hey, buddy. What's up, big guy? Good morning. Let me get you untangled one minute. You're not going to make it far. Hi. Hi, good boy. Hi. Hi, good boy. <laughs> What are you doing? No, 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 no. Stay back, stay back. Get off, get off. Good boy. There you are. We just don't want you on the on the bed. That's all. That's all. We want to give you loves. We just don't want you to pop in the bed. Not a bright sunny day, that's for sure. I absolutely love burning hardwood. It's got to be a nostalgic thing, I think, for me. It's ever since I lived in Windsor, I always dreamt of living up here. And while I was doing that, I was burning hardwood down there. And then moving up here and doing a bunch of stuff, it's like hardwood is hard to come by. Hard to come by wood. That's probably why they call it hardwood. Hard to come by wood, I think, is what they mean by it, yeah. Anyway, I really, really, really do love burning oak, especially oak. Maple's great, too, but look at that. Look at that grain. Look at that grain. Love the oak. The BTUs are out of this world. The smell is great. Quality. And there's the scarcity of it, I guess, now. Although... Find pockets here and there. See them on a smoke coming over there. All right, so let's try to mitigate that. Is that the right word? Minimize that at least. A little pig snout. is getting pretty brutal I have an extra ground sheet I don't need to although I have to let's try to uh, use one of them to hang up for more of a door got just a little bit of pine duff off the ground to make a button and two half hitches around it Tie it in place. Okay. We've already got one side up. Put this side here with a taut line so we can tighten it and loosen it if we need. Better than nothing, better than it was. Let's check it out. Just got that little gap there. And then pretty much filled in the whole way, except for at the top. So smoke can escape, not too shabby. Yeah, that's the ticket. I wanna draw two eyes on here. Not actually. Nice rocking fire in there, all oh, oak. Oh. oh shit, what do you think? You think Wolfie will come in here? 
if I call him in for some bacon. Wolfie Bacon! Here. Here, bud. Come on. Yep. <laughs> That's a good boy. Can't be too worried about it in here then, eh? Hey, good boy. You sit. <laughs> sit. Lay down. Wow, that was a pretty quick down. You know, you do no commands. You just choose not to do them. Eh? Well, I'm going to cook up some eggs as well. And keep the bacon grease. I got a hefty amount in here. For later, it would be nice to get a duck or a grouse and cook it up in a bunch of bacon grease. That would be really cool. But... Either way, I haven't even gone anywhere today. It's, uh, what time is it? Just after 10. It's not that late. But the other days I had already gone out and, well, I guess yesterday. I'd already gone out maybe once or twice. But that's okay. Having a lot of fun. I like just chilling out. Taking things at my own pace. If I feel like going out, I go out. If I don't, I don't. I think the wind has calmed down a bit. Hope Wolfie's in frame here. Anyway. Good boy. We've got more coming. That's the end of the bacon. We'll use that for garbage now. So I'm cooking up some eggs to go with my bacon. I'm gonna put some garlic in that. Told you I'd make, show you another use for this Coughlin's uh, silicone handle thing. So I got some garlic. I got three cloves. Look at that. Crushed up and de-skinned all in like two seconds as opposed to trying to peel it and chop it up. Now you can still chop it after that, but it's crushed and skinned. Oh, good boy, good boy. Okay, you can come in if you want. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Some bacon grease. Swirl that dank around. Well, you know what? Fry some of this up real quick first, too. Maybe I'll do that. I crisp the bacon so I can use pieces in here, like bacon bits style. This is going to taste pretty good. I'm going to give Wolfie a couple pieces. I'll use two pieces in this. He was in there eating eggshells. <coughs> So here's a full egg. You want that? What are you gonna do with it? You gotta bite it, man. <laughs> Just bite it. If you just bite it. <laughs> bite it, dude. <laughs> you just gotta put your teeth through it, that's all. Or your paw, that'll work too. Dude, you're so not gentle with any other aspect of anything. You can't lose interest, dude. Here, look it, look it, look it, look it, look it. Ready? 
Ready? Get it now. Yo, call over me. Silly boy. That's gonna be good. Got bacon. I put some pepper and seasoning salt in there as well. I put shallots in with this garlic to um, roast a little bit. Grill, fry, fry. That's the word. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, that's that for the frying pan. I'm sure Wolfie will be happy. You can get a can clean that after. <clears throat> After it cools down. Okay, we're gonna do the old Joe Robinette special. And then I'll make tea out of the water that's not used, that's not boiled up. It's gonna need a little bit more water in there. What's up? <laughs> oh boy, that looks good. It smells so good. Okay, my cup unfortunately has, not unfortunately, but my cup is has a ton of bacon grease in it, so we're just gonna put this right in here and drink right out of that. Boiled water in the bottom. Let that steep. Then we've got our delicious meal here. I don't know if he's showing up again. Um, get my plate. Part. There we go. No one's the wiser. I'll leave that for Wolf. And this is for me. This will be good. I don't think I've ever done it quite like this before. With the bacon and the saute. Saute! Saute is the word. He's just poking his head and looking at me. That's so good. Wow, that is ridiculous. Okay, I was starting to get concerned. I took Wolfie for a hike right from the camp. We hiked for, I don't know, quite a ways down the lake and uh, wasn't seeing anything. And I was like, man, maybe I need to hop on the, uh, in the canoe and go to a spot where I've seen one before. But Wolfie was able to flush one out. And then I got him. I, he landed, I lost him for a bit, and then I was able to spot him in the tree. 
which was the best of all worlds. Gave Wolfie big praise, and he is up there eating the rest of it right now. So this will be part of the dinner. Hoping to add to the pot, uh, we shall see. I have food, but the whole point was to get some wild food out here. So, anyways, nice little spruce grouse. I've got them unfortunately twice. Once there, once there, so four holes, but I'm a noob. What are you gonna do? Oh no! It's a little dirty. Anyway, now that it's filthy, we will save this for dinner. Super happy with Wolf, man. Like, I, I wouldn't even have came across that guy. Like, maybe he spooks a couple and I miss them, but the likelihood of him finding more than me anyway is huge. starting to rain a little bit out there, so I'm trying to get some stuff squared away and some firewood in here. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll sit in here for a bit now and relax. Really, really happy I got that grouse. Got a little saw somewhere. There you go. This blade is coming loose. I got my leather, man. I can fix it. It's cool that they only connected it by two flatheads, or whatever you want to call them. I can, I can, sure, I can tighten it with basically a coin. Splitting wood with a saw. All right, we'll get this fire going again and take some time to relax. Wolfie, you can come in here, bud. I've been cooped up in there because it was, uh, come on, come on. Windy and rainy and cold and Wolf's nowhere we found. I come out here, he's a stand. He's laying on top of this rock, the most exposed spot in the wind. <laughs> right? Woo woo. Woo woo. In the wind, friggin' laying on an actual rock, so. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna be too worried about the guy. <laughs> you got the feather? Give me that feather. Yeah, it is a little bit warmer in here actually. I've had that wood stove going most of the day. I think I might build myself a little table slash bench for over here because of my pile of nonsense. I'll probably end up staying tonight and then tomorrow night and that'll be four nights out here. That's probably enough. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, we'll build that and get more organized.
Well, this uh, tripod, quote unquote tripod, has served its purpose. It's not really doing that great of a job. And I figured maybe I can use my cooking tripod in lieu. In lieu bag <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop. All right, let's see. second. stress on it. Okay, it's a little higher up. Not too shabby now. Feel a little bit better about that one. The plan is to use this old um, stick that was holding up my chimney and this red pine as forks to stab into the ground to put something across to hang thingies off of. So I want it roughly here. I'm going to have to start chopping a little bit lower I'm obviously going to lose some when I chop. All my thingies. Now, instead of pointing, making it into a point after, I can try to do that while I'm chopping it. It's gonna need to be a point to go into the ground, right? Right. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. I might have to thin this down quite a bit actually. Probably not a bad idea. shorter yeah I think I have to cut it quite a bit shorter and then slam it in slam and slam it spiral kind of like having a tree in here though 
No, that's not doing anything. All right, I'll cut it a bit shorter. Okay, take two. That's in there. All right. I'm gonna use this red pine as much of it as I can anyway. I left a lot of uh, knobs and notches and stuff on here just to hang things off of easier. But it's in there pretty good. This one could go in a bit. Like it's in there, it's in there. Anyways, it'll hold up everything I need to. Yeah, actually, I need just to hold the tarp out a bit, too. Okay, there we go. Okay, always improving, right? I threw this piece of maple up here. Just threw it up there. Didn't do nothing with, with it except for toss her up there. I'm thinking I can hang my chicken off this because my tripod is in use right now. But we shall see how much weight it takes. I might have to lash that up there, which wouldn't be that hard. I could actually just do it very easily with this. Alright, well let's just see. See how this goes. Alright, pause pause that for a second. I gotta get the chicken ready. There's my bacon grease. The old bush chicken. I have seasoning as well. it up a little, you know? Stay. Back up, buddy. Actually, back up so the camera can see, dude. Sorry. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Good boy. Alright. Nicely coated bacon grease and seasoning. We're gonna smoke this up high for as long as possible. <laughs> one of these is a cinching knot, this one. So we'll put this, both feet, go, they down, down. Good boy, hopefully they can still see. One of these is a cinching knot, this one. So we shall cinch it around one side and see if that works. Maybe around the whole thing. Maybe around the backbone, like that. Okay. This isn't much weight. We shall see how much, oh yeah, should be fine. Nice. I'm gonna get some more rock. I'm gonna get some more rocks and pile them up on this side, considering the wind is coming from uh, this direction right now. It keeps changing all the time, but uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to do while this cooks slowly. Bunch of maple and oak here. Fire rocking. 
that's up quite a bit. Yeah. I got those. Well, after I went to get stones, the fire switched directions, the wind, I mean, and then now it's kind of dulled down. But anyways, I got a couple of big rocks. Got a bunch of big rocks, actually. Three, to be exact. This has to be propped up, but I'll be there for now. holding that there for now but I certainly don't want to leave this rock here but for now tonight I'm cool with it like that that actually helps quite a bit I think this one needs to be put up a little bit more good boy Wow, pretty red sky there. This is getting to be done. I'll probably throw it on the grill after, well, just to make sure. But we'll leave it up there for as long as possible, getting smoked and slowly cooked. Let's go check out this sky over here though. It's getting better by the minute. Alright, there you have it. Very excited for this little Cornish hen of a bush chicken. Anyway, my big camera, I have to... Uh, I have to delete some files because I ran out of 120 megs, which is crazy. Alright, let's cut this guy up and get into it. I don't know if I want to cook anything else up for supper too, but this is getting devoured now. Now! Well, I cut into it and I wasn't happy with how cooked it was. It just needed a little bit more. So I splayed it open or flayed it open, whatever you want to say. Uh, and also, Will freeze dried me some hot sauce, some Frank's Red hot. So I brought some back and I'm going to baste it on there right now. It's a little watery, but I'm going to baste it on there right now. Because I'm sure it's cooked enough now. All right. Mm. Steamy. Very good. Chug up the smoke and the seasoning twice. And we can use that. Mm. Well worth it. Well worth the wait. Might have overcooked it a bit. But I'm just figuring everything out still. I've never cooked one this way. Tell me that doesn't look inviting. Pretty awesome. I'm very happy with this little hobo freaking tarp mansion thing. Not too shabby at all. I got the idea from just seeing like the framework of this every now and then on like crown land camping spots not the tarps and everything just the framework and i got to thinking when that would be cool to camp in i wonder if like they would just use it as a kitchen or camp in it too but even three-sided or even just a roof on one side would be a decent kitchen
morning. Hey, buddy. <laughs> it's eight o'clock. Hey, Wolfie, come here. I'll take that leash off you. Come here. Come here. Are you stuck? There you go. Come here. Come here. Let me get that leash off you. Come here. Come here, good boy. Come here. What are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I'll get you some food in a minute. Oh, man. Good night's sleep. Very windy. I had uh, Wolfie in here when I went to bed, and I, woke, I went to bed probably like 10 or 11, woke up at like before one to pee and he was already out of the shelter here uh sleeping i have him tied up and i have been tying him up just on account of all the bear uh signs around here i'm not trying to have him run off in the middle of the night type thing uh woke up at about six and got the fire going and i've been back and forth to sleep since then i feel very rested i think that today I think today we're going to get up here pretty soon and start hiking around. Start hiking around the bush, try and see what we can see. There's another lake, like a small, smaller lake than this, just, I don't know, maybe a kilometer or two uh, away from the end of this lake. So I'll canoe down, see if I can find that, see what's up over there, just explore a bit more. And uh, I'll make some pancakes when I get back. but. I think I'm gonna go get up and do that now. Probably the coldest it's been, coldest morning it's been. I'm gonna keep my my camp boots at camp. Put on my. They're not wet, just damp. Actually, yeah, they're just a little bit damp. Better to keep the dry stuff dry, you know. Bringing the stuff I need for the day. I don't know how long I'll be gone for. One adult Lunchable left. <laughs> uh, Wolfie just ate. Yeah. For the most part, that should be it. I'm gonna have to bring one headlamp just in case. Hi, boy. What's up? Hi. Well, I've almost walked all the way back to the trail where my side-by-side -side is parked. I've never, I'm just walking through the bush. It's pretty clear. And then I can, I hike out down to the, the shore when I can't hike in the bush anymore. And the, the shore is relatively walkable. as you can see. So I've only ever canoed in from my side by side at the end of the couple of crazy trails to get in. But this opens up a new possibility. If I can walk all the way there, which I think I can, 
then I don't have to bring my canoe on the side by side anymore. I can just take the four wheeler, which is much easier and just backpack into the site. It's like a couple kilometers or whatever, but the walking is relatively easily easy. And if I leave that framework set up, I could potentially come back in here with just a tarp and set that up and have a camp already made and bring the tarp out with me every time. We shall see though. I think I'm almost at my four wheeler. I mean my side by side. Yeah, so this is near the beginning. I remember seeing this. Ooh. That's awesome, here it is. So that also means I don't have to stop coming here in the fringe time of the season when the ice isn't thick enough to snowmobile or hike on yet. There's a rough trail that stays pretty sprucey for a couple clicks. We're gonna hike down that. And then if nothing, we'll go back to the camp and paddle over down to the end of the lake and try to find the other lake. Where is he? That's the downfall. He was up ahead of me quite a bit on the trail and spooked one into this ravine. And there's, I can't see him at all. And Wolfie's searching, but no go. I should really put him on a leash when I'm on the trail, but I hate doing that. There it goes. Okay, wait for me now. Well, now we're into the hardwood, and I feel like this is not prime area, so I'm gonna turn back. I got a ways to walk back to the camp now. I think I'm gonna make myself some pancakes. Very pretty in here, smells so much like fall. It's an abundance of maple and aspen and some oak leaves. Fantastic time of year to be out. Fantastic weather, fantastic area, fantastic company. Just a good time. I don't ever want to go back home. I really don't. Hey, there he is. Good dog, Wolfie. We stopped for lunch here. Found this nice piece of chaga. I'm gonna take it back and make some tea. It's a hefty amount. All of my batteries are dying. All of my batteries are almost dead. No birds yet. We saw one. He was very, very lively though. Couldn't even get close. On we go. On we go, Wolfie. Well, we're back. That was quite the hike. You can see some smoke still coming over there so so i know it's at least a little bit hot We've got some carving piece for doug that he likes look at that pancake awesome she's done little canadiana oh yeah all right this is gonna be good okay there has to be a change of plans I used up my SD card on my big camera. This is the only camera I have left and both my batteries are dead. This is why this one keeps dying and I have short clips. My charger is dead because I used that all up on charging my light and my Nikon batteries, which ate it up. I have to go paddle and side by side to my truck. So instead of just packing up and leaving, I'm going to stay another couple nights, but I have to go in charge at least my charger so i'm going to go to my car however long it takes an hour ish to get to my car i'm going to drive my car to the store charge while i'm driving come back and then charge up all my stuff this should only take maybe four hours five hours at the very most it's 11 so i'll be back before supper anyways and then i'll have everything ready to go i'm going to leave 99 percent of my stuff here i'm only going to take certain things with me um but uh yeah that's the plan i got 84 percent now i went to the store i got some supper got a couple goodies got this guy with me who's certainly not impressed 
it's taken us about by the time we get back to camp it'll probably to be about three hours um that we've been gone for it's almost three o'clock now so anyway here we go You're okay buddy he hates this so much in the boat it's a very nice day it took us about two hours and 40 minutes to leave the camp paddle to the side by side drive to the truck drive the truck to the store and back and I'll be back to camp within five minutes not too bad charge the GoPro up to like 85% or something like that um, I got a Dutch oven which is cool. I've never had one before, a cast iron Dutch oven, so we'll see. I bought some sausages, cause uh, you know, not too confident in my skills to get birds. The first time I came here, I got two birds and two fish in one day, and this is day four, I've got one bird. But that's okay, I'm not hating it at all. I did what I needed to do, and now I'm good. Get some air in here. What do we do? Oh yes. This is a pretty slick little situation right here. Worked out perfectly for that. And then what did we do yesterday? Prop this thingy up with this. The thingy. You know what I found out too? I have you know how I said I had two ground sheets? Well the other ground sheet actually does have tie-offs on it. So I can switch this off, silly me, with the other one, and I'm going to do that. I noticed that last night I was about to lay down, I said, oh my goodness, I said to myself, oh my goodness, there's coyotes on this one. Anyway, leave that for now. It is beautiful out. Um, we're going to make some improvements again. I'm going to tie up actual middle pole that I can hang the things off of properly and build a good pot hanger. This might be a good pot hanger for the Dutch oven. I've never had one of these before. I'm super excited to use it. I don't know what I'll make first, but look at this. Very cool. Very cool. This is the smaller size they had. I went to like a little tiny like corner store outfitter thing of one of these random little highways this is by world famous it's probably not the best brand but it's freaking cast iron it's heavy as hell and it's gonna do anything i need it to do for two people at least at the very least yeah it has camping it says world famous camp tips camp tips you want to know what it says wash rinse and dry Seasoning your cast iron product, wash, rinse, and dry. Grease lightly with solid shortening. Bake in 300 Fahrenheit for one hour. Allow to cool and store in moist. Ah! Allow to cool and store in a moisture-free and warm place. Clean with only boiling water and brush, blah, blah, blah. So I have some grease. I certainly have some grease and some oil. Rub some baking grease on it and, and cook it in here. Bake it up in here. Season it. <laughs> ah. Okay. In the future, when I build this, this middle piece will be left long. I don't need to do anything else extra, but I think right about there is a good spot. 
and then that way I can hang it from here, move it in if I need to, yeah. Nothing fancy, just a couple half hitches or overhand knots, doesn't matter, just something to hold it in. Okay. Now, I'll be pulling down on that. Let's see if this holds it. I'm going to make a wooden pot hanger so that I don't have to worry about the paracord. Oh. Okay, that's perfect. All right, make a wood hanger and then that's golden. And we'll season her in tonight. fits okay make it a little bit easier to take on and off I'm gonna trim off this end so bad at all I'll notch this so that the paracord has a spot to sit I've already put one notch in here put a couple more and then I can also use a uh, taut line hitch to make it adjustable but put a couple just to have options what I'm gonna do is I think it's called the Burtonsville rig Burkinsville I've been doing it forever I've learned out in Morris Kahansky's book bushcraft the the Bible for bushcrafters. What you do is you make an X with a baton and your knife, and then you carve out the bottom three quarters of it so it looks like a bird beak style triangle like that. And then you just keep making it deep. Make and then you just keep making it deeper. If you can speak correctly. Anyway, that's not the only style, and it doesn't matter because I have I have paracord to go. On here, normally I would use a wood on wood with this, but it's what I know and it's how I like to do it. And I'll probably just stop after these two because again, I can make the paracord adjustable. But it's fun. Little knife skills, little carving action. I like it. It's bringing me back, man. But you know, here doing this is bringing me back. Show me why I love this stuff in the first place, you know? Just, uh, this is all I've ever wanted. Be able to be out with a dog and be self-reliant and for the most part. I've never just, I've come from Windsor, man. I didn't know. It took me a long time to get this far. I'm happy. I'm happy about it, you know? Okay. Anyway. One. Two. Well, that dog is... KO'd. He ran for a good kilometer or two. He doesn't like to be in it, so I let him out. I don't think it's a big deal. Anyways, let's check it out. Fire pot hook. This is nothing. This is an extra up here. But the ability to go up and the ability to drop down and move up and back. It's pretty versatile. I think it'll work out well. Everything holds, drop down, get your eagle on girl. Might need to take it off to lift up, it's a bit heavy. Anyway, and then when it's not in use, the whole situation can go up there. Pretty cool, pretty happy with that. Improvements, improvements bruv.
<laughs> could go could use some more bows, you know? Could use some more bows. Tyotes. Tyotes. This one's actually bigger as well. We'll leave this here for now because we don't need it up. This is me washing. World famous. Must be good. What do you think? Must be good, eh, bud? Boop, 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 boop. Nothing in there yet. Are you really that thirsty? There's a whole lake. Grease. Just using what I have, you know? That's a lot. It's a lot of bacon grease. Hopefully this works. I don't see why it wouldn't. Well, I went back and grabbed some uh, decent maple here. I'm trying to keep this uh, seasoning process going. It looks to be good to me. But what do I know? I mentioned I was happy to have the hardwood blade on. This is some legit, legit maple. All right, that's enough for now. Enough fire, that's a good spot for that thing though. Good, good positioning, you know? Very good positioning. Boop. I would highly re I would highly recommend this setup to anyone. You don't even have to have a wood stove and even if you want one in Canada Princess Auto has cheap crappy ones for however much a couple hundred bucks save up and get one or make one yourself there's plenty of tutorials but the fire does 99% of the the job here um, especially until like the middle of the winter type thing. You can use a cheap plastic tarp the whole way around a couple of them. I think I will make a tutorial. I'm really really stoked on this. Can you tell? Oh man, it's so warm. Such a nice day. Such a different day than yesterday, wow. So that tarp is not just for wind and or rain, also sun. Very bright out there. And I got some shade now. 20 more minutes and it'll be done. <laughs> Pretty slick. All right, it is time. I'm gonna let this cool off before I start cooking supper. There we have it. Put this up in the shade, or sorry, in the sun and the wind. Hopefully this cools. Maybe in the shade and the wind. Yes, that's a better idea. Shade and wind. Right over here. No wind. Sun and wind it is. Woo! Was that supposed to happen? Yeah. Doesn't smell burnt at all. Looks pretty greasy. Cool. Oh yeah, there's still some grease in there even. Okay, cool. Well, we'll let that sit until it cools down. Cause 
That's what the instructions said to do. I'm gonna cook up some sausages in there tonight and then probably I'll make some french fries as well just to keep coating it with oil. There's probably nothing more oily you can cook than french fries, right? What a sight this is. The old doggo pasto, freaking tart mansion, chuck mansion. What a guard dog you are. Hmm? What a freaking guard dog this guy. Not a care in the world. I better stop filming. We're down to 38% from 80. I'm gonna stop now. so far I really have no idea what I'm doing oh this is the right thing or no this is not the right thing I really have no idea what I'm doing with this but check this out this is my first time ever using Dutch oven I'm just going off what I think we got those sausages they're halfway cooked or a quarter of the way cooked at least I cut up some onions and or shallots and potatoes and garlic and put it in there I'm going to put some seasoning salt and a little bit of beer in there and just slow cook it and see what happens. I'm excited for it. If I can find my seasoning salt. Where are you? I think it's gonna work. Seasoning salt, four sausages, all the goodies, and a little bit of Keith's in there. I don't know how much to put, so we're gonna put that much and see what happens man never ever ever tried doing this in any way shape or form never liked the idea of cooking with beer before but it seems suiting right now and i think i need some moisture in there if i'm not mistaken so we'll see what happens i'm going to eat it regardless that is supper. yep All right, we're gonna leave it up high. Probably about right there even. Maybe drop it down a touch. No, it's it's good there, it's good there. Guten slog. I took two of the four sausages out just to finish on the grill because I like some of them crispy and like to compare. So we'll see how that goes. That's not strong enough for that. Where the heck is my... There she is. There she be. It's hot, buddy. Please be careful. Well, the potatoes certainly are done. You know, I gotta try a potato. I'm waiting for those to finish off. Let's see. <laughs> it's like a mashed potato in a shape. Look at, watch this. Oh boy. Choice. Mm. That one was like almost like between a wedge and a, and a potato. Oh my gosh. So good. And a mashed potato, I meant. Garlic and onions on that. Okay. I have one big potato left. And I saved it to make french fries with because I thought it would be a good idea. But holy smokes, this is so good. This is so good. I'm going to love this Dutch oven. Look, at that's a piece of garlic. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What could you possibly want? Bam, son. All right, those are the ones. I left them a little bit long in there. Let's see. Completely cooked. Shoot. Oh, leave it in there for a second. Longer, it's super hot. And then the ones that I took out and grilled are the same. Cooked. See? 
Want that piece? Good boy. I got a little drink. I got my mustard. And they want to leave when you say you want a mustard. All right, this is good. I'm going to do this. I'm going to eat this up. I'm going to make french fries after. All about the cast firing these days. Yeah, Herb. I built up the fire pit much better than it was. It's like a good foot and a half, two feet off the ground. Foot and a half. Let's not exaggerate, you know? All right, seconds these freaking french fries are done. Oh no, french fries are done. Well, this is my view for tonight. I'm going to bed. You guys have a great night. I'll see you in the morning for another day over here.